Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Global Student Association speedrunning action. Glad we just finished up with that Super Mario 64 Division 2 70 star. If you just missed it, they will be highlighted and it will be back on again next Thursday. But for now, we're going to take over with a bit of Celeste here. Uh, my name is I'm Sushi, and I'm joined by Flare Bear. And let's look at Yo, some leak standings uh... here. So, uh, so far, we have Aurora Dash leading the pack. Uh, only two games down for all these runners here. This is going to be the first game of the night, and we're going to see Black Pair 420 versus Archie Boy 666. Black Pair so far, 1 and 1. Archie Boy, 0 oh and 2. So, definitely not the most high stakes match for both these players, but they are fairly close in terms of PBs. So, we definitely, both of these runners definitely want to get a win out of this match. So, we'll see how it goes. And wow, we're off already. So um, so going into this match, um, definitely Black Pair does have the better PB if you use their Spin.com statistics. Um, however, Archie Boy is definitely a bit more on the come up here, a little bit more of a more recent PB for sure. But there's still quite a discrepancy at that. So I would give the favorite this match to Black Pair, but of course we have 30 minutes of a mountain to go, so we'll see how it treats our runners. And the inspiring message. You can do this. We're off in the Forsaken City. Already a small mess up from Black Bear. That's gonna give Archie Boy a quick lead. Yeah, Black Bear not looking very comfortable these first couple rooms in the city, of course. Always gotta get some hiccups up when you're racing, you know? And of course, these almost a second lead we're seeing is almost negligible in the big picture. I can't find the stat sheet anywhere. I don't remember what Black Pair's race average is at all. I do remember in particular against me, he got a low 31. But I know that that definitely, I'm pretty sure it's below average for him still. The race averages is probably pretty close, but Fish has been getting really close to his PB in most of the races he's been doing. That's probably just because of the fact that his PB is really improvable and would probably go down if he did more runs at the moment. Yeah, I'm actually just going to pull out the stat sheet here, which I don't think we have a command for in chat, but if you join the GSA Discord, you should be able to find it very easily. Exclamation point Discord, I believe. Um, but we can look at the stat sheet here. That does have a very small sample size. Of course, we only have two matches for each player here. But so far this season, Black Pair has an average time of 31-34. And um, Archie Boy has an average of 30-37. So despite having a better PB, Archie Boy is actually having a significantly better average. So we'll see how that treats him this race. I mean, so far it's looking pretty tame. Some very minor hiccups from both of our runners, as we kind of expect at the start of these races, but nothing too, too big, too notable. How are you doing today, Flare Bear? I'm doing great. I cannot wait to play my race in an hour, or a little bit more than that, actually, two hours. <sighs> I finally had the time to do a live match. Well, that's wonderful. What was also wonderful is just seeing this nice, crisp Celeste gameplay. Just all of the gameplay here at GSA is just wonderful, you know? But not to be biased, but I like the Celeste game the best if you I don't know if that's just me but I think Black Pair seems to agree he's just like you know what let's keep going with it dude actually actually maybe Archie Boy agrees more he's slowing it down he's giving us more Celeste time on the stream I'm not sure yet maybe we'll have to ask the runners later but for now Black Pair is going off into the last checkpoint of chapter two I personally do my part in making sure Celeste is on the stream for as long as possible. You really hate to see it. You love it and hate to see it at the same time. So there's Ultra Dashes from Black coming up to give his mom a phone call. 
That's what you did at the end of this cutscene, right? Dude, it's been so long since I've seen the cutscenes in this game. It's kind of sad. This game has a beautiful story. Make a category extension for no cutscene skips. Alright. That's definitely on the bucket list. 4A cutscene is hype. <laughs> I need to optimize the, uh, the breathing segment. Hmm. You have to, like, match with the cadence of your actual real-life breathing. <laughs> I feel that. Get a metronome going. Alright, the Celestial Resort so far. Blackheart is slowly but surely edging over Archie Boy here to some better movement overall. Of course, we're only four minutes into the run, so... Not too, too much can be said about what trends this is gonna exemplify for the rest of the race. However... I haven't really noticed looking, anything from Black Bear yet. It's looking pretty gosh darn good if you're a Black Bear fan. Slight movement mess up there, but not really a big deal. Oh, I think he went for the demo strat there. Yeah, it looks like he did struggle time, a bit but... to get that fast cycle. It is quite a challenging one. That Unfortunately, he doesn't get a death out of it, so... Black Bear is narrowly avoiding death multiple times. Yeah, that was a really mm. weird way to back up that spike jump. He did it from, like, directly below. It's, like, weird. Because he messed up the, uh, the dumb strat. Where you carry momentum from the previous screen. Of course, flow is a very big part of Celeste's movement, as is for all the other games you'll see here at GSA. Odyssey, 64. I guess Mario Still Maker 2, but to different proportions. Still a good pace in Black Bear. But ever since we've entered huge mess, oh. it's just been... Black pair with a very nice corner boost there, but he's been maintaining the lead over Archie Boy quite effectively. It's like a little toddler when you when you push their head back and they try to hit you, but they can't. That's kind of what Black Pair is doing now, keeping Archie Boy at a set distance. I felt like his arm is growing though. longer. <laughs> yeah, it's growing longer too, but. You know. Hopefully Archie Boy is gonna pray that Black Pear finishes puberty sooner rather than later, but he he's he's going dude. We're gonna see coming up as the demo dash. This is a pixel perfect trick. Um, most runners go for the checkpoint, but if you don't go for the checkpoint, it can be up to a eight second time loss. Black Pear is gonna go for that checkpoint, loses about two seconds over getting a first try. He gets a first try either. anyway though, why bother? So hopefully Archie Boy will be able to respond here not going for the checkpoint, but we'll get a first try. If Archie Boy were to have died there, it would be a very punishing death. So thankfully, we're going to see that race continue to be a little closer. Wow. That was a nice way that fish backed that room up. Who? In the first room of Oshiro, Fish had a nice back for the first room. Who? I doubt it was I doubt it was intentional, but Archie Boy. Oh yes. Sorry. I was a little oh, no. confused there. It looks uh, like the player in question there is going to find himself in a bad death. This this room is very weird on the death cycle, can I just say? You really hate to see it. And Black Pear is going to be finishing that resort, inching just barely ahead of Archie Boy. 
Some nice corner boosts finishing it out, Resort. Archie Boy, while he is behind, he's looking confident. Eight minutes flat on the timer, and we're going to the Golden Ridge. Oh, oh, he had his dash back too. He just didn't react in time. That stinks. That's one of those deaths where it's almost too satisfying. Corner boost right onto the spike. You almost wish that was a strat and not a death. Quite a punishing one at that, but it happens to the best of us. And for those just joining us, welcome to the Celeste portion of the GSA livestream. Um, you can type exclamation point schedule in the chat if you want to see all the matches for tonight and just for the entire week and month in twitch.tv forward slash speedrun. Oh, Black there, he's going for the 4A auto scroller skip here. Recently found trick. Oh, that's scary. Oh, please. Oh my god. He's struggling a lot here. This is definitely not worth the time save at all. And we're going to see Archie Boy actually catch up really quickly there. Oh and my god. The corner jump too. Archie Boy is now in the lead because of that black pair. It's going to take the block, but wow. Yeah, I don't know. Because that strat is less than a week old, right? Because yes. I, don't, I don't think people have seen it on this stream yet. But for those who don't, you, you can explain it, Brady. Yeah, that's, that's the new strat for uh, blockless where... You intentionally get like a one of those fake uh, grab jumps where like if you grab at like the very very bottom of a block or like a ledge, you just fall down instead of actually climb jumping up. There's a little setup for it, and the first time he was like barely too high, so he did a normal jump. Then he ran out of stamina. Then the second time he got it, but he dashed too early, so he didn't make it like, over the gap. Oh, another death from Archie Boy, but he has a nice lead now if he stops throwing it away. Yikes. Tough stamina, but yeah, the 4A auto scroller skip used to be considered a TAS or IL only strat that involved multiple frame perfect inputs with no Q. Um, however, it was. Ooh, that was wow. scary. Both, both of our runners are threading death itself here. It was found that using a corner buff, which is a sub pixel dependent tech where you can grab a grab the bottom sub pixel of a wall and it just kind of gives you a bit of forward momentum oh wow that was a very satisfying death from archie boy there but um by using that tech you can actually barely have enough distance to reliably corner jump um i believe it's like a two frame window so it's still a very tight trick but it's something you should see a lot of runners starting to implement in their runs as it saves about two seconds Yeah, unfortunately, Black Bear is not showing it at its best form here, and because of that, he's going to pay the price as well. We saw an 8-second lead for Black Bear going into this chapter. That 8-second lead is going to get reversed out of it, as Archie Boy is going to be the victor going into Chapter 5. Yeah, he saved 15 seconds over him there. That's a really scary ridge. And I guess while we have kind of a lull before 5 being bubs drop, we want to talk about some of the other matches that we're going to be seeing tonight on stream, Brady? Uh, well, off the top of my head, I don't remember mine. I don't remember what's coming up after these two because other people are picking up to take them. Well, don't worry, Brady. I got you because right after this match, we're going to see Aurora Dash versus Chai Kitty, which should be a very good match. Both two very good players. And after that, we're going to see Archie Games Marlin versus Vlad Flitterby. That's probably going to be my week, my match of this week. It's going to be the third match of tonight. Very exciting one. After that, we're going to see Archie Games Programmatic versus Flare Bear. I've never heard of that name before. Then we're going to see Sight versus Millet, and then we're going to be rounding off the night with Noble TGH versus M Sushi. Pretty loaded week, I gotta say. I gotta say. Oh! I didn't think I was in the kitchen, but we are certainly seeing a nice sink right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. An 
and Archie Boy is going to ruin that one by staying on the main menu. You really hate to see it. Nah, it's okay. He's just getting their timers closer. Right. Right. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It put him further apart. The opposite amount. <laughs> he was behind. No. Of course, we're going to see here. This race is fairly close. There's about a bump drop in time difference that separates them, so we'll see how it goes for Black Fire. He's going to be the first one to reach it, despite the in-game time discrepancy. Black Fire is going to get on the first try. Very nicely done. Archie Boy already eating a death before even getting to the bump drop. We're going to see how he does here. No, Archie Boy is going to miss the bump drop. Very interesting fact, though, he's not going to retry stuff. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, you okay? Well, what's interesting about Bub's drop is that if you get it on the oh, this hurts to watch. Archie boy really struggling on these rooms that we don't normally see in any percent. Um, this that screen is actually is pretty annoying. Yeah, Archie boy here. What you see most runners do when they fail bubble drop is just attempt it again. However, if you wanted to, you could get the key and do the strat, the other strat. Um, the time differences work out so that if you were to fail bubble drop two times and then get on the third try, it's about equal to failing it once and doing that route. So it's kind of a safe-ish play from Archie Boy here, but yeah, it's not something you see every day. Regardless, that's going to be a pretty big lead for Black Pair. And he's going to head into Theo. Hoisting the Crystal Man on his back. Stretching through the temple. Popping some demonic eye creatures. Can I make this game sound any cooler? Gosh. I'm so good. Hire me for marketing, Matt. <clears throat> Anyways. Black Pair finishing the Theo section quite smoothly. So you can get that nice Ultra Dash into the last room. Pop Theo into the Crystal Heart. Mirror Magic greets him as Archie Boy is going to be greeted with Theo himself navigating through the rooms that Black Pair finds familiar. Ooh, a nice spot there with the. Oh, oh this is a very sketchy it. situation. We can save this. Oh, we got it. We did save it quite well. If he was just a little bit further, he would have had to do something way more stupid to get him out of there. But he was just barely in reach. Black pair. Failing Lake Skip twice now. And a third time. Oh, jeez. Black pair is struggling a lot with this skip. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Black pair. He has AirPods and he can't hear us finally. Gets the trick. Losing about 20 seconds overall to it, though. And that trick only saves four seconds, that Lake Skip. Of course. Because of the bub shop mishaps, likely still has a lead over fish. You can see he's aggravated as chapter five performance there, checking the journal, examining the times, looking at the data so he can improve for next run, but wow. Definitely because of the lake fail skips, lake fail skips, the lake skip fails from Black Bear. This is still most definitely a race that fish can win. However, Black Bear definitely has a lead right now. And just like that, Archie Boy suffering the same fate, but is not going to hit his head into the brick wall as Black Bear did. Archie Boy is going to think a bit more strategically and hit that three pixel wall all down. Oh, Black Bear. Oh, Black Bear. But do it one more time. Oh, he did not do it one more time. That's sad. Well, that's good for him, but sad for me. I was going to do something funny. You feel? No, I'm done. 
Anyways, both of our runners are kind of struggling with reflection here. And we're not even halfway through yet. their equilibrium their mojo as they navigate through the hollow section not too many mistakes since i've last uttered a word oh black uh, prove me wrong saying i'm sushi you think you can talk we're playing celeste buddy and he's gonna ultra dash you right into the pit below of course this gap right here is so significant but it's nothing that archie boy can't make up in the last 10 minutes of the game here, but another death is not going to do him well. Of course, it is hard to visualize these leads when we do have this in-game timer discrepancy. It's about Which 20 is... seconds. Yeah, enjoying this time on the menu select screen there, so you can't accurately depict what's going on, but... Yeah, he was probably typing in Discord about how bad his temple was. <laughs> As we like to do. It's like when someone gets a time that's bad and they're like, gosh, I got this time with 10 seconds of mistakes and three deaths. And everyone's talking about how bad stuff is, but Black Hair right now with a pretty good battle line boost. Let's see it's off in the section. Archie Boy's saying, you can hit Kevin Blocks? Well, I can hit some myself. It's a bit of a smaller one, but he still has a way to go before he gets to the big boy. And again, for those familiar, unfamiliar with the Any% Celeste League, um, despite it being the shortest amount of, or the shortest duration of the game seen here featured on GSA Leagues, um, we do do a best of one system with a, uh, or best of one match to the point hey. start, boy. <laughs> that is something that can crash your game if you're not careful enough. Well, it's something that used to crash your game. It used to crash consistently if you died during the cutscene. Yeah. Fortunately, we don't see it displayed off over here. That's something we would not like to see. Regardless, though, we're on the way with the bad line fight. And I can I keep wanting to say this is a lead that Archie Boy can make up, but as the time just goes on and on, and Archie Boy keeps slipping a little bit away, just keeps loosening his grip even more on this race. I hate to see it. And another kind of odd mistake as he off he's off cycling this room but he's gonna recover quite nicely archie boy and black has been going through reflections smoothly since hollows can't say the same for archie boy oh, oh my gosh just lost all the speed there in the second ultra but anyways like i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted by our players playing the video game um, we do a point system, there are a total of 90 points up for grabs in each game, 60 go are awarded to the winner, and the loser earns a 30 point, or, and then the winner, oh, it gets awarded 10 point, or 1 point for each 10 second interval they beat their opponent by, and the loser gets awarded the scraps, <laughs> whatever is left of those 90 points. So of course, despite, even if Archie Boy isn't feeling too prompted to win this race, which we can't say anything yet, as we still have chapter 7 the summit to go the longest chapter in the game but um you definitely still want to keep your fight up your guard up as not only are you judged on the stat sheet you also have points up for grabs so but so far black pair is gonna level up as he enters the resolution and archie boy is gonna be finishing out the battle line fight flight fight surely slowly but surely i get ahead of myself with words Black Pair finishing out reflection with a 621. You can see those 20 seconds of lake skip deaths coming through. And he's gonna be entering. Actually, grew a little in this chapter. Oh my god! What? 
your award. Archie Boy did that too smoothly that I, I refuse to believe that was a backup. He just instantly like, yep, I'm gonna wave dash here. Wow, that's not something you see every day, but a quick recovery from coming through quick thinking. Okay, he is actually losing a little bit of time to Black Fairy here. Despite the 20 seconds of Lake Skip deaths, his rock bottom just suffered a lot of mistakes. Yeah, we're gonna see about a 25 second lead for Black Bear here entering the summit. It's substantial enough that we're definitely get, gonna have to see some misplay from Black Bear as well as uh, proactive uh, good play. <laughs> I wanted to get sitting them for good, but I just couldn't find one. Archie Boy has to play well if he wants a, a stance in this, a foot in this race. And Black Bear definitely has to let off a lot of ground, but so far, these first few checkpoints are going well for Black Bear. And with the timer, do you think it's about one summit checkpoint that separates these two runners? Of course, nothing insurmountable, but again, as the time passes... Ooh, went for the demo dash strat there, I think. Yeah, Archie boys need more of what Black Bear is doing Oh, he's here. dead! Went for it again after failing the normal method and then goes back to it and works a second time. But again, that's only a foot that Black Pair has given on the football field of distance that Archie Boy is gonna have to recover here. That's quite the metaphor. It's not quite a football field, but he has some work to put in. We're gonna see Archie Boy saving lots of time over Black Pair in that dream block room. But Black Pear is just sewing through these hard 1500 meter cycle rooms quite elegantly. And again, this that 1.5 was really good for Black Pair. Oh, yeah. Archie Ooh. Boy! Corners are not cooperating. I love corners. Oh, that was quite an odd display of dashing from Black Bear. Whoa, with some very nice corner boots to make up for it. Top route. Pog champ. Black Pair opting to take the block. Not something you see a lot of runners go for nowadays, but of course it is the safer option. And I'd be darned if I see Black Pair mess that one up in a race, but you never know. Alright, out of 1.5, Fish is saving one second. Come on, just a few more. If there were like 20 more checkpoints in the race, I think it would check out. Corner again? Archie Boy is just not on the receiving end of God's grace. Ooh. Oh, Top my route God. being a little scary. A very sketchy snowball room from Archie Boy. Also going for the block in this room. 
of course, the safer option. It's nothing we can rat on. But when you're Archie Boy here, you need all the time saves you can get. You have quite the mountain to climb ha, when it comes to winning this race, so. Oh gosh, went for the bunny hop there. Fast key skip from Black Bear, very impressive. Going for a short climb and then the neutral wall jump. And as Black Bear weaves his way under the doors, Archie Boy is going to be catapulting into 2,500 meter. Black Bear is going to be looking to make a graceful exit into the last checkpoint of the game. There's not a lot of distance left for Archie Boy. I think soon we're going to have to be talking about points. Oh. Just not being able to control the pure amount of speed Archie Boy really struggling in this room. But we'll make it through as Black Bear makes it through into... The heavenly 3,000 me 3, meters, that's a lot of meters. Wow. 3,000 meters. See those nice pinkish, orangish, orangish backgrounds as we start our final descent up the summit ascent. Oh my gosh, fish! <laughs> Bad way to die in that room. I gotta say, all the Archie Boy fans out there in the audience really not looking too good tonight. This is when you flip over the baseball cap with the Archie Boy logo and you kind of go home crying, <laughs> you know? I wish Maybe. I had that cap. I, I know you own Oh it. my god. Oh my god. That was oh, missing put. Did you, did you see him right there, right before he, uh... Right before he restarted the room again, he, he got a little bit... Yeah, I think he was, uh... He was testing out his down key real quick since he clearly forgot to press it right there and do a hyper. Mike Jack, is this on? Is this on? Hello? <laughs> what was looking to be like a decent gap just fell apart for Archie Boy in 2,500 meter. I think ideally he can get away unless if like some miracle happens with like a 25 or 30 second loss, which is still some points. Well, we will have to see how forgiving the winds of 3000 meter is, and so far, already a quick death for Archie Boy. I mean, you hate to see it, what else can I say? I think I've gotta hang up my Archie Gaming jersey. Yeah, you really hate to see it. All the Archie Gaming fans in the audience are thoroughly disappointed with Archie Boy's play. We'll Everyone is leaving week, the stadium. <laughs> Archie Boy's parents have just left the stadium. You really hate to see it, but unfortunately, they see him coming back. He tags on flag 19. He's in there. Look at him go. Climbing up the mountain diligently. Meanwhile, Black Pear burning the Archie Gaming Nation to the ground here. Shutting them all up with his incredible Celeste skills as he tags. No, he skips flag number two. Onto the spring, boying into some refresh gems. Archie Boy doing a little bit of a Black Pear cosplay, hitting some springs himself, but just not going to compare her as Black Pear is going to be the better player today. He is opting himself for a sub 30 time here at 29.55. So congratulations to Black Pear for taking the W today over Archie Gaming's Archie Boy. A boy might have been no match, but maybe a man will be. Unfortunately, there is no Archie man in this league. Archie Boy will have to fight, and points are still on the line here. So we're going to see how Archie Boy can finish off this race. Here with this feather off into the last screen of Celeste any percent as the timer ticks over the 30 minute mark. Black Pear rejoices in his journal Ooh. as Archie Boy is going to rejoice on his retry. <laughs> going to retry that room.
And yeah, for unfortunately it's a sad day for all the Archie Gaming fans out there in the chat. We will have some Archie Gaming members playing later tonight in the league. So definitely keep a lookout. But just not a strong start here in week 3. But Archie Boy himself is going to make a strong finish here at the end. Making a statement. Saying it was just a fluke. Look at how good I am. Dashes up. Upright, 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 corner boost, skipping the cutscene. That's going to be about a minute discrepancy between Archie Boy and Black Pair. GG's to the runners. And yeah, I mean, that race was fairly back and forth. I mean, we saw a lead change throughout Chapters 3 and Chapter 4. We also saw there, um a large amount of leg skip failures from Black Bear that made me think that despite Archie Boy's 5B bubble drop mishap, he was able to come back. Unfortunately, just the summit there sealing the deal, putting Black Bear ahead of uh, Archie Boy there. And yeah, Player Red, do you have any thoughts on this match? Any final uh, thoughts? I think, I don't know who Fish is playing against next, I mean Archie Boy. Excuse me. I don't know who Archie Boy is playing against next, but I hopefully, can actually... we can, hopefully we can see sometimes like the one Black Pair just got. That was even with the time like like Archie Boy got. It's it's funny to see that it's still a thirty because that will still win you a, a match against a bunch of people right now. So, well, Flavor, lucky for you, I've done the numbers. I've gotten the hidden script from GSA that they do not want to put us live on air, so I might actually be suspended for doing this. But next week. Archie Boy 666 is going to be facing Archie Gaming's programmatic. So that's definitely something you'll have to look out for the next week, coming in at 7 p.m. Eastern. But for now, we got five more Celeste games tonight. Five more, so definitely keep tuned to Global Student Association. We're going to go for a quick intermission, and when we come back, we're going to be kicking off Aurora Dash versus Chai Kitty. Stay tuned. <laughs> 